You know, YouTube, uh, this is just a video of uh, quite a difficult job we get to do from time to time, and I haven't quite done one this big before with the spray, so I thought I'd show you um, how this is done and the, the gun set up and everything I'm using to do this. Um, now, there's a lot of problems that arise with doing a job like this. Number one is the height. Um, number two or is the scaffolding and how you're going to scaffold it and do it quickly because you have to do it quickly to make any money. Um, three you've got to set up your spray gun right because this is a furnished house um, I can't have overspray everywhere and I've also got tannin bleed on the timber which is a stain that comes through the timber so I've pretty much got every problem a painter can encounter on this job so you can see there the scaffolding I'm setting up you can see I've started spraying there um, I'm doing the top bit uh, with just brushing that by hand because I can do that easy enough. I'm doing this, there's three other larger ceilings like this that I'm doing with a spray. So I'm just going to show you how that's done. Now, what I'm using here is a uh, 312 tip with a long extension and a large filter in the spray. Now, the 1-2 is the orifice size. So that will get a lot more paint on the rough sawn boards. So it's more like a brush. Um, whereas a lot of my other videos, I use a 311 or a 211, which is a much finer uh, finish tip. Uh, there's still a fine finish tip, which will reduce the overspray, but it is a 312. So it's quite a, a much bigger orifice. You could even go a 314. Um, Graco don't make a 313, but uh, some other manufacturers might. Graco don't. Um, so you could probably go a 314 and probably have to do, you could probably coat it less times than to do that but you can see there what I'm doing I've got a long scaffold under the high bit I'm doing the high bit first and I'm going down and I'm doing the low bit from a ladder and I'm cutting in and then I'm filling in the boards after I've cut in in each section um, I'm using a an acrylic stain sealer product which has got a tannin blocker in it mm. and I've had to coat this three times because of the the rough sawn timber and because of the tannin problems that you encounter with stains bleeding through. Um, you can see here that um, I'm just painting this one by brush because um, it's a little bit awkward getting a scaffold in there with the kitchen. Uh, we're painting the, the kitchen later on. There is a beam running across there that I've got the plank um, leaning on. So I'm just going to brush that section of ceiling. Uh, brush and roll, it's just easier and I'm going to do the rest of it downstairs. There's quite a bit downstairs I'm doing. Um, so just here again, you can see I'm cutting in the edges and I'm, I'm spraying the boards. Um, any overspray we get on the fan, we just get that off of some napo at the end, that's not a problem. Um, as I said, the 312 fine finish tip, you can see that there's not much overspray floating around and that's what you need to do um, when you're working in someone's furnished house. It's the only way to do it. Uh, when we left this job, there was no mess anywhere, there was no overspray anywhere. Uh, we are using 12 foot trestles in this job, so this is not a job I would suggest a, a normal homeowner attempt on their own. This is more for someone that's experienced working at heights um, would attempt. And uh, even with the spray gun, this is not something a homeowner should do. This is something that should be left um, to a professional painter um, or at least a, a tradesman of some sort. Um, it's just there's just too many variables in this kind of a job to be doing on your own. You, if you were to do this, uh, brush this by hand, you would be there for four or five weeks, um, and I still don't think you'd get it done. Um, I finished this job in a week and a half, and the customer was happy. Um, and so it was basically a varnish ceiling that we've uh, coated. There's a staircase we did as well, um, and we did the kitchen. You can see the kitchen there. We used a, a marine enamel, which is an epoxy paint, which is almost like a uh, two-pack. Thanks for watching anyway, I'll just leave you with another video of the um, spraying. Um, so many questions, I get a lot of questions from painters asking me about this. There's, there's two schools of painting, there's painters that spray and there's painters that don't. And I get two types of people, I get two people, people asking me for the gun set up, how I set the gun up. Um, so that's a 312 uh, tip with a, with a large filter. Um, or you could use a uh, 314 with a large filter. That would be another, probably a faster way of doing it. I probably would have gone a 314 doing this again. Um, and I get the other types of painters that tell me, oh, you can't do it this way and blah, 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 blah. This is the only way to do this kind of sealing. If you want to be there for six weeks doing it with a brush by hand, then you, you're losing out there if you're a professional. You've got to use spray equipment. You've got to use the tools available to you. Um, it's just a, it's a, almost a different trade using the spray and um, you can achieve a, a perfect finish with a spray just as good as a brush and roller, if a little better than a brush and roller. Um, I think people are scared to try new things. I mean, I was taught the old way as well, but now I use this more than I use a brush and roller, generally speaking. There you go. Thanks for watching. There you go.